Hello everyone, and welcome to my playthrough of Factorio. Okay, last episode we started plastic. And I was going to add plastic and um, sticks, iron sticks, to the belt. Looks like I did do iron sticks here. Um, but let me get these going on both sides of the belt. I always seem to have trouble with this. And I don't know exactly why. What did I do before? I think I had to do something like this, was it? No. Um, what did I do? Oh, maybe it was like uh, that. There we go. Yeah. I don't know if there's a better way to do this. But this does work. And what are we looking like for output here? We get like... Is it a full half of a belt? Yeah, it looks like it's half of a belt. That may be enough? I don't really know. Um, however, I remember that I had a different problem further down the line here, which was that I had built something and it's in the way. Yeah, so if I wanted to keep with my four belts at a time uh, theme here, actually, let me just throw this uh, coal in there while I can. Um, I can't really do that here because I made this real close to the belt and I don't really want to move it all. So I guess I'll have to go just up and over for this particular situation. Which, I know that's not the best, but we'll just deal with it for now. So we'll just have this come this way. And then meet up with the belt here. And then we were going to do plastic um, as another... Uh, belt here. Okay. I think, yeah, we got four there. Uh, let's do... Oh, this is a little bit of a weird situation. Normally I'd do an underground here, but I can't because of this, uh, well, I guess I could do one here still. So it'd be like that. And then this would come through here. This one needs an underground. This one needs an underground. And... Oh. Well, this is not going to work, is it? <laughs> oh boy. I can't... This uh, underground here is not going to allow me to... carry on the iron here. Although, I'm not really getting any right now anyway. But here, I guess we'll just move this back one. And then we'll put a belt here. And then we'll put an underground here. Yeah. But yeah, we're not getting too much iron on this belt at the moment. Let me take one more look again. I know I keep looking at all this stuff over and over. Like, to the point of it being obsessive. <laughs> but, um... Where is all of our iron going is what I kind of want to know. I guess a lot of it is going to these iron gear wheels. 
I mean, half of it is. And these are producing really fast, too. So this belt is not backing up like it is over here for the circuits or here for the other belts. And I guess it's not quite a full belt either, though. And why is that? Why is it not a full belt? This is a full belt of ore. Isn't it? Or is it not? Yeah, I think it's full here, but here it's not. This says on the right, belt speed, 15 items per second. Okay, that's the same. I thought maybe it would tell you how many items are going across under your cursor at the time, but no. Okay, anyway. Um, so yeah, that's just being split between all these different furnaces. And how far down is this iron going? It's going to about here. Well, this furnace is on. This furnace is on, but none of these are. None of the other three. So probably about here. So probably don't need these bottom six furnaces at all. Yeah. So I guess the only way to increase this more would be um, to have a second iron belt coming through here so that each of these lanes gets a full belt rather than split between two of them. And I don't really know if I can do that with my current train setup. What are we looking like as far as these chests go? Yeah, they're not really filling up at all. Well, that one's not. What are we what are these? Oh, these are though. I guess that's because this one is at the front of the line, so these get used up first before these ones do. So those are actually full. So yeah, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could have two belts coming out of here. Well, yeah, something that we will we will look into at some point. Um, what happened with my iron sticks here? Why do I What did I do here? I messed something up here. Huh. I guess I need a splitter here, don't I? I don't know what I was thinking. Um, let me fix this. I think, oh yeah, this is the situation where I can just, or no, I would need to go like that, and then this one can go up, right? And that will give me a full belt? Yeah, I don't know what I was doing before. <laughs> I think this is what I want, though. Yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, so then, I yeah, last episode I made plastic, which is down here. I don't know if I made it the right way, but it seems like it's okay. Oh, I didn't put lamps. Let's put some lamps so we can see it. What's in the way? Oh, the pipe. Um, maybe we'll just do here instead. Alright, so we'll put the lamps all the way across. I guess that's okay. 
There we go. Now we can see it. Yeah, I did the same weird thing here. I don't know what I'm thinking with this. I, I could just do this, right? Put that there. And then this will go... Let's see, which way do I need it to go? Yeah, this side needs to go that way. This side needs to go that way. There, like that. Yeah. All right. And then I can bring this plastic up to the main bus. Now, how am I going to do that? Uh, hmm. I guess maybe I will just bring it through here. How many belts do I have? I only have a hundred. I'm going to need way more. Which needs iron, of course. So let's make some more. Okay. And then we'll just bring it up here. I guess we gotta go over more. Yeah, and now we can bring it across. Guess we'll go up this way. And then we wanted a four block or a four tile gap, so it'll go there. One, two, three, four, yeah. And then like that. So, I guess we'll just keep these together up here. Until we get down here, and then I'll do one, two, three, four, right here. So that will be our plastic. Okay. Well, we do have a little bit of iron here, but yeah, we're not getting very much at all down at this end. So that's going to be a problem. Um, for advanced circuits, what do we need for those again? Plastic, copper cable, and circuits. Well, at least they don't need iron. And we have all those things, right? We have circuits. We have copper cable, and I already forgot. Plastic, duh. Yeah, okay. So, I kind of wanted this to be the mall, so where should I put the circuit uh, assembly? I guess I can put it up this way. I could try that. And I guess we'll do maybe like 10. And just see how that goes. And we'll go maybe like here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we could probably put the plastic and the circuits on the same belt because those only need two and then it needs four copper cables. 
So that one will have its own belt. Would probably be best. So let's do that. Let's bring it to, we'll have our two input lines here and here. So this one we can make the copper cable. So if that's the case, then we'll need the splitter here. Right there. And this one, we're gonna have to combine them like this and this. And I guess I can have this one come from here. Uh, let's see, you go straight and then that way and then that way and then this can be an underground here. I think this will work. Something like that. So is this still in the right spot? Yeah, I think so. And then this one will be electronic circuits, which is here, or no, here. And then this one will be um, plastic. Oh, did I build this too close? I guess if we have more lines coming, this will be a problem. But that's a problem for future me. <laughs> All right, so then, yeah, we'll bring this plastic here. And that's half the belt. And then we've got copper cable. And that's gonna go to an underground that way. And up here into another underground. Nope, 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 wait, what did I do? Um, wait, which one was the copper cables are the one I wanted on its own belt. Okay. So yeah, that is right. Yeah. Like that. And then here I need another underground and this one will be electronic circuits. Like that. And this looks like it's going the wrong way. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we'll bring the electronic circuits over here. Like so. And that should be everything I need, I think. So then we just have to do our inserters. And we'll try to be consistent with the regular ones on top and the long ones on the bottom. And I'm out. Output belt going this way. Get our inputs going this way. Okay, and then we just need power.
So where should I grab that from? I guess it'd probably be a good idea to run power poles on your main bus too. I haven't been doing that as of yet. Okay, then we'll just run in between each or every other one. Let's get our lamps, which I need more of those. Put those here. And I think that's it, right? So now I just tell it that you are going to make advanced circuits. Hooray! That should be it. And we will put these in a chest. There we go. Cool. How long do these take? They take a pretty long time. Wow. Nine and a half seconds. Jeez. That's a very long time. Oh my gosh, look at this radar. It's almost destroyed. That's crazy. I would really like to know how they are attacking that. Wow. Okay. Um, geez, I guess I should have looked at that a little more carefully before I built this. Should I build another row of these? Do we even have enough room to do that here? Let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would barely have enough. Let's take a look at, um, what was I going to make with this? Stack inserters? It needs one. Okay. What else was I going to look at? Blue science. Did I research that? Yes, I did. Oh, that takes three. But it also takes sulfur, which I don't have yet. Hmm. And what about my armor? It takes 30. But I only need to craft that once, so that's not a huge deal. I haven't looked at all this new stuff I've got either. What is all this? Ooh, rocket launcher. And rockets. And ooh, I can make my flamethrower now. Ah, uh, but I need crude oil for the ammo. And we can make landmines now. With explosives. Cool. And these are night vision goggles. Allows you to see more clearly in darkness. Yeah, I want to make those right now, actually. Uh, oh, I, I have enough in my inventory. Yeah, let's make one of those. And what else? Belt immunity. Oh yeah, that's so you don't move when you're on the belt. That's pretty cool. Personal battery. Stores electric energy for equipment modules. Portable solar panel. Provides power for equipment modules. An energy shield. Provides an energy shield to protect the character. That would be me. Cool. Um, I wonder... It says placed in. I guess it goes inside your modular armor then. Which I still haven't made yet, right? I'm still... Yeah, I got heavy armor. So I guess let's make that too. I can make it. And then let's check this out. There we 
we go. Okay, we got our 10 inventory slots. That's wonderful. And how do we open this thing? Right click, modular armor. Okay. Equipment grid size is five by five. So then how do I make the stuff that goes in there? Like this guy. Creates one defender. So if I right click here, this will go in my inventory, right? There we go. And then this goes over here. No, that's not fitting in there. Uh, when in cursor, oh, left click to throw. Oh. Oh, it lasts for only 45 seconds. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. I thought it was a permanent thing that would always fly around you. Well, that's a lot less exciting. Man, okay. Well, I guess that's something I could do. Um, when I go attack somewhere. Um, what about rockets? I need explosives. And how do I make those? Cliff explosives. Wouldn't they be under military? EXPL. Oh, they're under intermediate products. Whoops. Oh, here they are. Oh, those need sulfur. So I can't make those yet. So I can't do rockets yet. Okay. And I might be able to do flamethrower ammo. I'd have to figure out how to do crude oil. Um, I did set up my plastic, so I could probably figure that out. Um, but yeah, I think we should do another row of these, honestly. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I guess we're going to have to go one, two, three over like this. Oh, I ran out. Okay. And I guess, actually, now that I'm looking at this again, let's reverse this. Actually, we could just share this output belt. So let's do that. I'll just do another row right next to this. There we go, now they're crafting. Okay, and then we'll get our long inserters. poles can I just click and drag yes I can good okay add some more lamps and then let's just wrap these belts around I just want to go here. Out of belts. 
Actually, I should just grab some right over here. it grabs all the things but that's okay having extra inserters isn't such a bad thing either okay so then this will just wrap around like so and then that should double my output so we shift right shift left and there we go Are there long-handed inserters that are faster? Doesn't look like it. That's kind of unfortunate. I guess maybe what you'd do for more advanced recipes would be to just have two inserters here and maybe do like a like make your belts do a zigzag pattern or something seems like that would be kind of gross though I don't know for recipes that are requiring more than just a few items anyway yeah we got a couple stacks going already that's great Cool. Okay. So what can we put inside of our armor then if we can't do... Oh, did I make the night vision goggles? Yes, I did. And then I totally forgot to look at them while it was still nighttime. <laughs> um, also, what did I do with my light armor? Oh, I think it, it's because I died, right? That was... I lost it because I didn't know I could go retrieve my body. Um, well, I was thinking I could go stash this armor in the chest I made up by my spaceship, but that's a long walk just to do that, so let's not do that right now. Um, the other thing that I think I wanted to do today was to go out far away like over here and out here. Well, I can't get to here, I don't think. But anyway, kind of go farther out and place radars so that we can um, explore some more of the map area because apparently I need to find some sulfur soon. And then, you know, this is a good size iron patch but I'll probably need more eventually and we found copper wow I didn't actually see that one yet 10 million wow um what else do we have oh there is another iron patch right here that's right okay so we're actually fine we have stone iron but I don't know about uranium I mean that's a decent size there's coal but um yeah, I don't know. Once we start with uranium, like for nuclear power, I assume this is not very much. 628k, but I don't know. So anyway, um, yeah, let's do that. Um, I'm going to need probably at least a few more solar panels because I'm going to just power them with solar. I think that would be a better way to go than trying to run cables all the way out there that would just be crazy so let's go grab some circuits two stacks maybe and then copper plates I think it was and yeah, I can make 26 so 23 24 25 30 40. How about we do 40? And then I have three radars. Let's just make a few more. 
Down under. Yeah. What is this? Oh, flamethrower turret. Cool. Oh, I guess I could try this energy shield. Is this the, something that goes in my inventory? I think it is. Yeah. So is this. So does that mean you have to power your armor for it to work? I guess you do. Yeah, so if I make one of these, and I guess... What do I want to do? Solar panel? I mean, that's not going to help me at nighttime. Or does it charge the battery? Oh, maybe it charges the battery. That's probably what it does. Okay, so batteries were where? Here. Oh, that requires sulfuric acid. Man. Okay, well, I can't do that then. All right, I'm not going to make that then. All right, so we'll just do radars. We'll do solar panels. Um, let's get some more turrets as well. What am I short on? I guess iron plates for those. And that's five. I have zero at the moment, I guess. Okay, that'll make 20. And walls, I don't know if I need any more walls. I guess maybe I'll grab enough for a third stack. There we go. Oh, and ammo, which I never did um, make any new production for. However, I put a chest over here. I don't know if it has very many in it, but let's look. Oh, yeah, decent amount, actually. So let's grab all those. And... Actually, I am going to um, go put this armor away just to give me peace of mind here. I have one more free inventory spot. Don't crash into anything, please. Okay. So we'll just put it, uh, I guess, in here. And I guess, uh, well, no, I'll keep that stuff. All right. Uh-oh, we have no, we have no turret coverage there. That's not good. All right, let's go fix that right now. I guess I should go on this side of the train of the power pole there. Now this could get dangerous if the train's coming. I don't know if it would crash into my car. I don't know what would happen, but it would be bad news, I'm sure. Oops. Don't navigate and drive, kids. Oh, did we kill it? Yeah, we must have. Get off the train tracks, though. Okay. So, in that case, let's put some more turrets here, I guess. Probably just two is enough, I think, right? And we'll put these here. Oh, middle click. There. Okay, and then control click. Let's fix these walls. Let's fix this power pole I ran into. Fix my car. OK, 
Okay, and then let's jump in and go fix this radar up here. Got more attacks happening over here. Yeah, I really have no idea how that radar got damaged. There we go. Okay, still doing relatively okay on those. Let's fill up these two. All right. And we'll go grab my car. Um, I guess I'll just pick it up and then we'll go... Uh, where was I gonna go? I guess down this way, actually. I mean, I could go... Well, no. I put a, r a radar up here already. I think we should go kind of in this area. I don't really want to walk this way because I'll go through those nests, but if I come like right through here, hopefully I won't disturb any of the biters. Okay, so in that case, let me put the car back down. And we'll just go back to the base. And hopefully not hit the train. Slow down a little bit. For these trees that are coming up. Okay. That was good timing. The train just came in. Okay. So now, can I go kind of up and over here? Sort of, but there's lots of trees here. Yeah, this is about where I want to go, though. So, can we kind of squeeze through here? Yeah, that works. Okay, oh, look out. There's a biter nest straight ahead. Let's go down more. Yeah, and then if I go, like, here, I think I'll be okay, hopefully. Um, let me hit tab. Oh, actually, let me put ammo in there. There. Just in case. Yeah, looks like we're good. Okay. So... I can squeeze in up here. And let's go down a little bit. Oh, no, more trees. And I'm getting very close to that nest up top. And now we're on the beach. Cool. Okay. Can I place stuff in the car? I always forget. Yeah, it looks like I can. Okay, so then let's get our solar panels. And I believe I said it was five. And if I could... Yeah, I just... <laughs> I should just get out of the car because it's never a good thing. I always seem to mess it up. And crash into stuff. Um, Will this one pole... Pull from all five. Yeah, it looks like it does. That is excellent. Okay. So then I should just put some turrets here. Guess I could do something like that. And surround it with walls. Something is getting attacked. A 
Oh, no, that's the radar beeping. That always messes me up. Okay, something like that. And I think it's online and working. Because I think it's daytime now. So this, hopefully, will give us a kind of a big area. I don't know what how big of an area it does. But hopefully that'll start showing us some good stuff. Um, should I head south? I'm a little nervous to explore with how big these biter nests are getting now. I really don't want to die way out here and have to get... Ooh. Produce 1,000 advanced circuits per hour. Cool. Yeah, there's a nest right south of me. So let's not go there. Maybe let's just put some radars, like maybe one here by this stone and one over here in this corner where my wall is. That way they're protected. Yeah, let's do that. So I need to go back up to go in between these two. Oh. Uh, can I go around this way, maybe? Okay, and then back south. There we go. Let's look again. Yeah, so basically I need to go straight south now and there should not be any biters in my way. There's a bunch of trees though. Oh, and I just ran into one. go. Oh, these don't have any ammo. I guess I never... Oh, these are ghost images, actually. Well, let's at least finish the, the ghost image portion I did here. There we go. radars. I mean, these um, solar panels are kind of big, aren't they? So if I put it... I don't know if I have enough room. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, let's move them up one, I guess. And then can I get away with one power pole again? I think so. Yep. Cool. Okay. So now I should see new chunks generating down here. Look at this, our pollution cloud is actually going to unexplored areas over there now. So I think it's a good thing we're doing this now. 
Okay. Um, I'm out of ammo. I think I need to go back and grab more before I place any more radars. Ooh, that was a close one. Um, where was my ammo? It was up here, right? Yeah. Probably didn't do much more since I was here last, though. Yeah, a few stacks. Okay. Oh, I, I should have gone over here. I don't know what I was thinking there. I was thinking I was going over here already. Okay, well, let's hop back in. Do a little more exploration. Not really, but the, the uh, radars will do some exploring for us. through here. Uh, nope. <laughs> Alright, let's just grab the car. And we'll put a radar here. Oops. Crafted another one. Keep doing that. And then we will grab our solar panels and we'll do one, two, three, four, five... There we go. And let's just put maybe one more turret here. I don't know if I need it, but just for a little extra protection in case they are attracted to the radar. Okay, and then let's do the last one. Can't really drive the car through this area easily. Yeah, I want to go kind of maybe on this peninsula here would be a good spot. I need to rebind my enter key. I think, yeah, let me do that real quick. I think, um, is there anything that uses D at the moment? Pick up items on the ground. I don't really care about that. I switched that to middle click, which is way better. There's alt D. Deconstruction planner. I haven't gotten into any of that. And then what about G? Oh, G is to flip a blueprint. Um, I think I'm going to clear that for now. There's nothing else, right? Oh, connect train. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to need that. I'm going to un undo that one as well. And then I'm going to change the map to G. I'm going to change enter vehicle to D. Then yeah, D, D. There we go. That's way faster. All right, cool. And then we were going up to this little peninsula. We 
There's one biter nest right over there. Interesting. Okay. So D, there we go. I like that. Um, okay. Radar. Solar panels. Power pole. And then we'll do turrets. Maybe just three might be okay. Something like that, and then we just do that, and there we go. Now we should get some map exploration on this side too, which is now G, I have to remember that. There we go. Yeah, this one's doing its thing over there. This one will be revealing more map down here. And hopefully, there's some nice oil patch there. Hopefully we'll find some sulfur soon. There's that's an interesting amount of stone there, not a ton. I think my stone, yeah, my stone is just about out though. I'll probably go to, for this one next though, or maybe this one. Anyway, um I think that's going to do it for me today, guys. It's been uh, actually kind of a long episode. Longer than I thought. I swear, time flies sometimes when you're playing this game and you just get sucked into it. And <laughs> yeah, hours can go by if you're not careful. So anyway, yeah, we're going to call it here. So I'll say thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.